Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about all the brand new content updates and bonuses that have just been added into Grand Theft Auto Online and are going to be going on for the next couple of weeks. So I figured I'd throw this out here at the beginning. I am going to be doing a live stream probably in a couple hours from when you guys are watching this video. We're going to be testing and showing off and, you know, doing all the crazy new things that were added in this week's event. So just giving you guys the heads up that that's going to be happening later today on my channel, but what is that going to be about? Well, Rockstar is calling this new event Grand Theft Auto Online Stunt Race Event 2017 going on from today, which is February 28th, the last day of February. It's a short month. Then going on from March 13th, which is basically two weeks from now. So I'm not sure if this is a pattern that Rockstar is going to continue, but for the second straight event week in a row, Rockstar have added new maps to popular game modes. So for Valentine's Day, they added two new maps for Till Death Do Us Part. And today, probably the biggest thing that they've added is 50 brand new Rockstar created stunt races. So I don't know why it took them so long to release these new stunt races. I would have loved to have seen these last year, but I guess it's better late than never. And Rockstar have added 15 brand new races. So Rockstar states you'll race up glass towers, plummet through clouds, dodge turbines, and clatter through bowling pins on your way to the finish line. And there's 15 races. I'm going to give you guys a brief description of all of them right now. So the first one is Green Machine, which is a lapped supercar race. The next one is In the City, which is a lapped sports car race, followed up by Raton, which is a supercar lap race. We've also got Around the Docks, which is a lapped motorcycle race, followed by Pier Race, which is this week's premium race. It's a supercar race, which is actually pretty cool. Up next, you've got Big Drop, which is a point-to-point -point sports class race, followed up by Trench 3, a point-to-point -point motorcycle race. You've got Spinner, which is a lapped supercar race. You've got 45 Degrees, which is a lapped motorcycle race. You've got Gauntlet, which is a lapped supercar race, followed up by Plummet 2, which is a point-to-point -point supercar race. You've then got Big M, which is a lapped motorcycle race. Lift Off, which is a point-to-point -point super race. That one actually looks really fun. I'm excited to check out that one. And then Wall Climb, which is a lapped supercar race. So in case you guys didn't catch the theme there, the three types of races that were added were supercar races, sports races, and then motorcycle races. So uh, there was no off-roading. There was no muscle cars, anything like that. So I'm sorry if you were a fan of that sort of category, but it was only super sports and motorcycle. And then you've obviously got the two modes lapped and then point to point. So those are going to be pretty fun. We'll be checking out some of those a little bit later on on my stream today, which should be really exciting. So once again, stay tuned for that and check that out a little bit later in the day. I briefly mentioned the premium race. There's a new one going on from today until March 6th, which is peer race, which of course is locked to the super class vehicles. And then there's going to be one from March 7th to the 13th, which is in the city, which is also one of the new races. And this is locked to the sports classes as well. That's a great way to earn some money. Obviously, you get the podium winners with the top three finishers getting money, but everyone getting triple RP that races within those. And then we've also got some new time trials. The one that's going on now is Up and Adam. That's going on from now until March 5th. So that's actually pretty cool. I wonder how difficult that's going to be. We'll try it later today. So we'll actually see. And then the one from March 6th through the 12th, is Maze Bank Arena, and I'm not really too sure how difficult or challenging that is, but that is still pretty cool, and it's a great way to earn $50,000 pretty easily here in Grand Theft Auto Online. And I almost forgot to mention that with all of the Rockstar created and verified stunt races, there's going to be double money and RP, which should be a pretty great way to make money, especially given the fact that a lot of these races last for a pretty good amount of time. So this is going to be pretty cool to see how much cash you can ultimately win here. So if you make some good money from the stunt races, from the new double money and RP or the new ones that Rockstar have added into the game, be sure to tweet them at me. I'm pretty curious to see how much you guys make from this sort of stuff to gauge if it's worth it and if you should invest your time into doing these sort of stunt races. So be sure to let me know there. But regardless, double money and RP on all Rockstar created and verified stunt races. 
Now, in case you're looking to save money, Rockstar are doing some pretty awesome discounts, which are going on from now through March 13th. These are all 25% off. You've got the Anis RE7B supercar, as well as the Emperor ETR1 supercar, some of the best vehicles from the Cunning Stunts DLC. You've also got 25% off the Vapid Desert Raid, as well as the Trophy Truck, the Obey Omnis, and the Lampadati Tropos Rally. You're also going to be getting 25% off liveries, stunt tattoos, and all the stunt clothing, which is pretty awesome. So there was a lot of cool clothing that was added with cunning stunts, and all of that is going to be 25% off. And speaking of cool clothing that was added in cunning stunts, by logging on to Grand Theft Auto Online today, between March 13th, you'll actually get a free set of clothing. It's the pink Jock Cranley stunt suit. So I don't know why this color was chosen. It is kind of random and interesting, but if you're looking for another free collectible that will be gone after March 13th, hop onto Grand Theft Auto Online right now, grab yourself this Jot Cranley jumpsuit. It, it's definitely interesting and bright and people are definitely gonna know you're wearing it. So check that out, it's actually pretty awesome. And the last thing that Rockstar has going on today, which I think is kind of random, but still pretty cool. They say for multitasking stunt racers with fledging criminal enterprises, invest your hard earned double money into a vehicle warehouse for 25% off. So basically in order to start up the stealing and dealing missions and to get access to special vehicles, uh, it's gonna be 25% less now, which is pretty cool. And I don't know if that's Rockstar foreshadowing what we could be getting next. Obviously, the rumored DLC that I touched on in my first video today uh, that could be coming up next is special vehicle races. We know that Rockstar with their event weeks like to kind of maybe foreshadow what could be coming up next or getting us prepared. And maybe, just maybe, them offering 25% off the vehicle warehouses is a sign to say, hey, you might want to invest in one of these because coming up, there's going to be a DLC that requires one of these for you to own. So that could be pretty cool. And as always, when Rockstar do these new events, at least recently, they've been giving certain players specific targeted discounts. And as of right now, there isn't any way to know how many there have been. Typically, there's only one to two. So FunMW2 put out this tweet earlier today. He said, targeted tunables again. One of them is the Spectre, the Shotaro bike, the Reaper, and the X80 Proto, which can also be seen Seen on these images right here and I'll show them off for you guys. Apparently this comes from Jersey who actually had these discounts but apparently some others are reporting 50% off the Super Velito and Shafter V12 which might end up being the tier one discount. So if we do get more information on this I will keep you updated. That's another thing you guys can tweet at me if you do end up getting one of these selected discounts that wasn't mentioned on the Newswire. Uh, be sure to tweet them at me because I do find that pretty interesting. And it is weird how Rockstar never formally announce the targeted discounts. They kind of just have to like let you figure it out on your own. And what's also interesting is I've never gotten one of these. So I don't know how you like become one of the opportunity persons to get something like this, but I never have. But needless to say, there are once again, selective discounts going on here in Grand Theft Auto Online. But really, that's pretty much it as far as what's going on from now until March 13th. It is always possible that Rockstar give us an update in the middle of this week in terms of what's going to be happening on March 6th and 7th with the character transfer thing. Do I think there will be a DLC that occurs in the middle of this week? Very unlikely, but I certainly think we could get some information, whether it's on the March 6th character transfer stuff or what could be beyond that on March 14th. Remember to stick around on my channel a little bit later in the day, we're going to be doing a live stream checking out some of this brand new fun content, which should be pretty epic. However, if you did go on to enjoy this one, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.